So you're playing the note, the note A on the four string, and the two, two note chord or three note chord of C, two frets after from that, two note or three note chord of D. So, and returning to the A in between if you want to do it the fancy way. This last bit I'm just doing this sort of frill which is um, what's this a G hammering onto the A hammering back off or pulling off or whatever it is appropriate for this uh, song pulling off and then hammering on the uh, doing this is uh, on the uh, fourth and fifth strings if you put your first finger on the fourth string second fret and get an E uh, with a fifth string open A so you've got a sort of power chord of uh, power chord of A minor in this case A and E without the note which defines whether it's major or minor and then you play uh, sort of uh, two finger G shape that's 3rd uh, fret, 5th string, and 2nd fret, 4th string. And I'll slide that up 2 frets to get the, uh, the D chord. So you, got, you can play like this. It's very effective. I don't know if Peter did it that way. I don't know if... Um, Danny Cohen just did the sort of the plain chords while while Peter did the more elaborate stuff over the top or whether they did it in unison it might be uh, that they played exactly the same thing. The thing I like about doing it here is it gives plenty of scope for, for hammer-ons so you can go going at the end. Uh, A on the fifth string, hammering onto the uh, hammering onto the C and then pulling it off. Look, no hands. Onto the G. And you can even do hammer-ons Instead of just moving to the uh, third fret, you can hammer on and hammer on that fifth fret. So on, you know, just make it more elaborate if you want. Another way I like to do it which sounds good is if you uh, put your first finger on the fifth fret here and play the eight, put a little finger or whatever finger on the fourth string to play the A of the octave, but also allow this string in between the open A string, the open fifth, to sound. And uh, so here you're playing three A's and then going down to the G note with an A sounding in the middle of it. And then you can also do that for the... Uh, you're just sliding that whole shape up to play a C note here, octave, but let the A ring, D note here, D note here, octave. 
Um, it could be that when they played it, one played this, the other played one of the other ways I showed. It could be that Danny just played the plain chords and Peter did something like this over it. It's hard to tell. And finally you've got uh, that sort of uh, phrase that, uh, that Peter plays. <laughs> So I'll break that down for you, that's a hammer-on from G to an A. Um, and then um, fifth fret, third string. So you start off with the first finger playing both those notes on the fifth fret. And then just hammer-on with that other finger. And then the next bit is, it's a sort of, well, sort of mirror image of that. So, A, hammer off, Ham, hammer off from the A to the G, and then fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth string, sorry, fifth string, seventh fret. So, that's what you got so far. Um, then uh, fifth string slide down if you like from the fifth to the third and then end up on a A on the sixth string. covers about all of it really. Um.